right, folks, welcome back. You guys know where I'm at. I'm out at the sawmill shack today. I'm taking advantage of a few last hours of sunlight before we head into that five o'clock darkness to get underway, putting some concrete in the ground. Now, before I talk about that, I wanna talk about the logs I brought out here recently. These logs, as you would have seen in my most recent video, uh, these came out with my tractor and my tractor brought them out here so I can build log bunks with them. That's where the concrete comes in. Because we haven't quite had a solid ground froze yet, freeze yet, I'm going to take advantage of that and put the concrete blocks into the ground, make a bit of a platform for the big logs to go on top of, which will then allow for other logs to go onto to then roll up onto my sawmill. That's the plan. Coda and myself, and oh, there you go, you can see him way up on the horizon. Coda and myself have been talking, and uh, I do most of the talking, he does most of the listening. And he thinks that's a good idea. So that's what we're going to get up against today. I got the little spade shovel, got some concrete blocks. I'm going to get the tape measure out, figure out where exactly I want this to be positioned. And I'm going to try to get it positioned, those two logs, somewhere in between that opening, obviously, where logs will roll into my sawmill shack. So that's what we're up against. I'm glad you guys are all here. And without further ado, I'm going to get down to work. All right, guys, you can see we got our base here. It is getting a bit dark and it's actually starting to rain. So I'm going to call it quits for now. I'm going to come back with either the tractor or the ATV and we're going to position some logs here. Um, not the big logs, but some smaller logs. They're going to go sort of crisscross and that's what I'm going to put the big logs on and I'll drive some spikes into it. That's at least the plan. The Coda dog and myself have been conversing and that's what we think is going to work out best. Anyways, I am heading in for now and I'll see you guys shortly. So this part of the game is where it gets a little tricky for me because I'm just about to nail these together, but obviously I don't want to nail them together if they're not going to be the logs I end up using. I need to get this so that when I put the top layer on and the top layer are the two main 14 foot logs, when I put the two big ones across here, I need to make sure that the total height is high enough so that it's slightly higher than my log bunks. As it stands now, my log bunks are give or take about 10 or 11 inches above the deck. So once I got to this point, I took my level, made sure it's half decent. And then I started to figure out if I put those ones on here, is it going to be approximately 10 or 11 inches or slightly higher than the sawmill bed? 
I think we got a good setup here. I think I'm going to nail this down and I think it's going to work. Anyways, that's what I'm up to. Probably not a good idea. Well guys, I think we got our base settled here. I got some spikes driven home. I just used some old logs. I didn't want to put a lot of effort or time into this. And so I just used what I had on hand. I could have gone ahead and milled some lumber and built this, but uh, I just I just got other projects I want to work on. So just like you guys, I just sort of used what I have at the time and uh, you know, put something together that'll be effective, but maybe not the prettiest. I'm about to get in the tractor in a moment. You guys know those big logs over there, the 14 footers. They got to go up here. They're running this way, obviously. I am not quite sure how I'm going to get them up here. Normally I'd be able to grab them with the grapple and just move up along the side and position them. But you guys can see I'm, well, I'm blocked in on both sides. So I might end up running a chain around it and just sort of pick it up a little bit with that, uh, with that chain and the grapple. Um, yeah, if you guys are wondering, that's my 66 inch uh, root rake with grapple. That's uh, made by HLA, real solid product. I've been using that for years. So we're going to put that back into motion and see how this works out. Anyways, let's go.
When my arm gets tired, I tend to miss. On to the next. Alright guys, well, I think we got a fair bit of work done today. You guys saw me cutting and hammering and doing all that sort of thing. You can see the platform out there. I call this the log bunks. I reused some logs that I actually had for my last sawmill shack. You guys can see the red pine pieces there. These big ones here, these 14 footers, this is what, um, this is what came down in a recent windstorm. And so I figured why not reuse them. Anyways, we'll talk about that in a minute. Before we get out there, let's talk about the transition from the log bunks out there where I'm going to be loading logs and how those loaded logs will get over to the sawmill bed. Just a moment ago, I cut these six by sixes and uh, I like to have a little bit of a slope down towards the sawmill so I'm not having to put as much force uh, when I'm trying to roll them. However, you don't want to get too much of a slope because then you'll have them roll right off the back of your sawmill or hurt you. So I made sure that board there, that... Uh, that uh, block, what am I going to call that? That green piece of wood there, I made sure it was just a little bit higher than the height of the actual uh, the sawmill bed. And by doing so, that created just a little bit of a slope with these transition pieces. So I've got one here and one over there. I'm not sure. Well, I, I think I'm sure. I'm going to put handles on these probably. I'll probably put handles, uh, just a little metal handle on the end here. And then I can sort of, uh, if you can imagine, pick them up. And the reason I left this long here, I'll just slide them back down in there and then they'll be sort of like that. Maybe a little bit further, I haven't decided. I'll probably do some tinkering and finesse work here once I do a bit of cutting and see how this actually works. But the whole idea is if you have a handle on the end, you can just sort of grab it when you're ready and you just pull it back and set it on the sawmill bed and then you can roll your next log. When you're done, you just push it back and slide it down there. That's what I did sort of on my last sawmill shack and, uh, and it worked out pretty well. Anyways, that's the transition there. 
Uh, one thing I had to do at the very end, which uh, I sort of overlooked until the very end, was leaving a gap here. You guys saw me cut this log back a little bit. I had to do that because I forgot that tarp up there has to get down beneath the deck level. That tarp's got to get down to at least here. If it doesn't get down beneath there, well, it'll sit up here and guess what's going underneath? Snow, ice, whatever. So I made a little gap there. Just had to shift everything back a little bit. Rounded off the edge of the log. I might do a bit better of a job, but I rounded off the edge of the log just so the tarp, when it touches, is uh, not going to rip on a sharp edge. Looking down here, well, this isn't that fancy looking. It's essentially some reused logs. As I mentioned, there's the red pines from my previous sawmill shack and this right here. Uh, these came down in a recent windstorm, so I decided to reuse them. And I just used some big spikes and I'm still out of breath after driving those things home. Those were a big pain, that's for sure. But uh, we got to put into place. If for whatever reason, the sawmill uh, log bed here, the uh, log bunks, if they settle at all, uh, for whatever reason, I can just simply, with my tractor, I can just lift up on this and that'll create a bit of a gap here. And I can just put a, you know, another block in there, a piece of wood, whatever. Uh, inevitably, this will settle and that'll, that'll determine what I have to do. For now, it should be pretty good. Uh, before I use this, probably what, I, what I'll do, I'll come down with a chainsaw and just get rid of these little nubbins and that. Just so that, uh, just so that the wood can roll nicely across the top. In my experience, there's no point of really using lumber for this, besides it looks nice because it gets thrashed. It gets, it gets hit pretty hard when you're loading logs and that, at least when I do it. The other thing is these, uh, these logs are sitting out in the elements and so they're gonna not only get abused from logs rolling on them, but the weather's gonna be constantly hitting them. So in my experience, they will last a number of years, but after having my previous log bunks for about three years, uh, they were definitely about ready to get replaced. All right, guys, looking around at my log bunks here, they're certainly rugged. I think they're rough and they should be ready for some logs. So that's probably the next thing I got to do. Load them up and we'll see about cutting some wood. Looking back at my sawmill shack, it's certainly come a long ways from the initial groundbreaking, the block setting, to uh, putting up posts, to putting up rafters, and ultimately to what you see before you. I certainly have some other ideas floating around up in my brain here. I just got to take it from my brain and maybe put it into action. Whether that happens sooner than later, time will tell. Anyways, for all of you guys who have been here since the very beginning, I genuinely appreciate it. If you're brand new here, be sure to check out that playlist. And for everybody, please come on back next time.